Just like last time, I have a couple different pots, except this time I don't have the tea leaf compost. So I guess in the next round, I'm gonna definitely make sure I do that. It's a shame too, because I was actually at the tea house last night and I forgot to grab tea leaf compost from her. But anyway, in this round, using chives, we're gonna try growing them in worm castings. These are really slimy looking and um, I went through them and screened them out and I think they're gonna do pretty good. Next we have compost from my tumbler. I screened this out pretty well. There's still some little pieces of leaf stems in there, but overall the stuff's looking pretty good. Then we have some commercial compost. And this stuff smells super earthy, it's really fine, and it'll be interesting to see how it does. Because when I went to get the stuff from the facility, it had, been, it had been sitting out in the sun for a long time, and who knows? So I think that's a nice curveball to throw in there. And then lastly, the control. And this dirt came to the left of, came from the left side of my EnviroCycle. So what that means is that this actually may contain quite a bit of material from who knows how many years worth of me burying food scraps next to my compost tumbler while I waited for the current tumbler's worth of material to finish. So again, between the four we have a nice variance of weird stuff. So again we have the castings. Then we have the tumbler compost, which has all kinds of weird stuff thrown in there. Then we have commercial compost. And then lastly, we have essentially a good mix of dirt and trench compost. So there you have it. There's our four, four samples for this year's round of Clash of the Composts. It's been about 10 days into the experiment so far, so let's see how we're doing. From least to most, the commercial compost is currently at about three sprouts just barely came up there's one here that's about it next up was the uh, control or trench compost really it's more I think like a control but either way this one is at one two three and four and there's a couple little weeds in there too yeah, definitely a lot of weed seeds in this one are popping up too, but uh, yeah, so this one had four sprouts. Moving over to next in line would be the worm castings, and that's at five sprouts. And it looks like two of them are really coming up. And then finally, my tumbler compost. Definitely have a big one here. And this one, we're at a total of seven sprouts all together. But yeah, so there you have it. So far, 10 days into it, it looks like uh, my tumbler compost, followed by the worm castings, followed by the control pot, and then lastly, the commercial compost. It's been about a month, so let's look at how our chives are doing. First up, the worm castings. We have seven chives, which actually puts the worm castings in first place, and they're looking pretty good. And we also have what looks to be some weeds in here as well. Moving along, we have the compost tumbler, and here we have six chives, and we also have um, a couple different invasive weeds. And I left them in because I wanted to let everything go naturally, but um, now with the experiments coming to a close, I'm probably going to pull them out and let them continue and see how they do. And I bring up the uh, weeds in here because now if we look at our third place pot, which is the commercial compost, you'll see that this is a pretty clean plot here. We have five individual chives, but you'll see that there is essentially no uh, extra crap in here. And this is definitely because of the um, temperatures achieved with commercial composting. They um, go way above the temperature needed to kill weed seeds. So you can see that this is actually a really clean plot here. And the complete opposite of that would be the last one, which is um, my control pot. And we have all different types of weeds in here. Um, and we have four sprouts. So. Pretty simple overall. I'd say that the conclusions are pretty much the same as what they were the first time I did this. 
experiment with the basil, except this is a little bit less exciting. Um, looking at chives versus looking at basil. The basil is a lot more pretty, I would say. A little more exciting to look at. But regardless, same thing. It's easy to see that compost definitely benefits um, growing. So, yeah, so when you're growing stuff at home, definitely consider using compost, of course, so you can get some good results. And um, that's really it. So hit the like button and let me know if you're doing anything similar, if you've had any um, comparisons between using different types of compost with uh, the things that you like to grow at home. So have a good one, keep it dirty, and thanks for watching.